welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. How are you guys doing today? Doing good? Holiday season's coming up. It's always really exciting for me, the anticipation of the holidays. My favorite time of year. So, today's video, I have an eyeshadow tutorial. Also, kind of like just experimenting and playing with makeup today because I have the Danessa Myricks um, Lightwork Volume 3 palette. Da, 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 da. Let's do it this way. And um, this palette is so stunning, but also intimidating. So part of me wants to say I'm going to do three looks. But I'm also, you know, I'm not holding myself to that. I might do more. Really, I'm just going to play around with it because this is kind of, I just kind of want to get a feel for it and see what's going on because I've, I've never had multi-chrome, so many multi-chrome and, and duo-chrome and just this stunning of a palette before. And I'm going to play around and see what I can do. See, maybe if I can do like one color just on the eye and if that looks okay or if I need to mix colors. We're just playing. We're going to play with this palette today. That's what it is. If I end up getting some concrete looks, I will put those on my thumbnail, but I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so um, I'm mostly going to use this palette and I also, just in case I need a transition shade, this is my MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow. I'm going to use this in case I can't just use these because the only one that is a matte is this black. So I'm going to try to actually use the black as like a transition or, or as like a base for some of the ones. So it's going to be an experiment. We're just going to have fun. And that is what I, why I'm doing this is because I love to have fun with makeup. It's my favorite. Um, for every single one of the looks, I want to have a eyeshadow base on. And I do. Right now I have on the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm going to have um, a base on every single one of them because I, I always wear a base or a concealer and so I think it'll be truest for the formula and how everything wears. So let's get started. I've, I've watched some reviews on this palette and they talk about how this color spacesuit and this color Polaris is more of a gel formula and is not good all over the eye. Like it looks beautiful at first, but then it, it creases like crazy. So we're not going to do either of those in the, on the entire eye, just because I think I'm going to learn from other people's mistakes. I already swatched this out on my, um, Sephora haul video. So if you want to see the swatches, you can go look at that video. I'll actually I'll put a link to it in the description box. So I just want to get going and let's get started. I'm three minutes in and I haven't even put anything on my eyes yet. So let's get going. I think a lot of these will just be applying with my fingers cause they're kind of like cream eyeshadows, but we're gonna try to use black hole um, with just my MAC 275 brush. I'm gonna have to clean this brush afterwards, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, black. I barely put any on because I'm just scared. Black is a scary one for me. But I feel like it'll make a really good base for these. All right, you can put on a little more color. Oh, I know what I forgot. I wanna use my tape. My tape that I got from Sephora. The Sephora tape. All right, I'm gonna put on the Sephora tape. Okay, I have the tape on. I have makeup on underneath, so it's not sticking as well up here because it's like hitting my highlighter and my bronzer, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. And I think it'll be really good to have this for these black crazy looks. Okay, black is clearly not a shadow I work with a lot. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm really intrigued by all of them. So let's just, let's put on, I really like this Martian. I want to try the Martian. Should I start with the very middle of the palette? Sure. Why not? Okay. I'm using my finger because, and I'm going to go all over. I'm most intrigued with seeing what happens if I go all over. It's like a peacock teal. I love that. Okay, now we're gonna go with Martian again 
and without the black. And see what it looks like. Wow. That really is a big difference. I feel like I got my eyelashes on the tape. Maybe, I don't know what I'm doing. So, there is Martian with a black base and Martian without. I feel like they're both stunning, but this would be a more like wearable, like I'm just going to work kind of look. Whereas this one I feel like would be more like if I'm going to a party. <laughs> so that is very interesting. I, I'm glad I, ooh, ooh, I can take off. I can take off the tape and see what happened. Very pretty, I like it. Let's go underneath. Colors are just so creamy. Okay, I like that. You know what? I need to do an inner corner highlight because I have these beautiful um, highlighters. I don't wanna miss out on an inner corner highlight. So this one is more of a green blue. So Spring Equinox is kind of a, they're hard to see because they're just white. But Spring Equinox, this one has a green undertone and this is um, Blue Moon, which has a blue. I wonder, I don't know, you can't really tell from there. Let's go with Blue Moon. Oh yeah. I feel like that really enhanced it. God, that's so much prettier. I don't have any mascara on because I, I don't want to have to put on mascara every single time and then take it off and put it on and take it off. All right, let's, let's move on to another look. Okay, so I have tape on again. And for this eye, I put my MAC um, soft brown as a base. And again, for this eye, I accidentally did a little bit of brown, but then I was like, oh yeah, I'm not doing a base for that eye. So this eye will have no transition shadow and this will. So we can just see kind of what just a brown shadow base looks like, what a black shadow base looks like. Let's go with Aurora. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a two-tone look with this one and do kind of a um, purple and gold. So Aurora pretty purple to green shift on that one. And we're gonna put it on the outer quarter first. I think they just look nice having that base. Wow. I do feel kind of more confident having that shield there. And I'm not gonna get too crazy. I already did kind of with that one, but okay. Let's blend that one out a little. I love that so much. Okay. I'm going to go with um, spacesuit in just the inner corner. Cause it, it is that gel formula. I can tell it's, it's more of a wet gel formula. Oh, I got it. My fingertips aren't as precise as a brush. <laughs> wow. It has an orange to green, like flip. It's really pretty. So we're gonna do orangey, what is it, spacesuit? I wanted to say astronaut. <laughs> These are so creamy and so pretty. I think 
this is my new favorite eyeshadow palette. By the way, there may or may not still be a little bit of green from the Martian, but you know, I tried to clean my eyes, but I, I know I'm gonna be cleaning them a lot and I don't want to irritate them too much. Okay, let's pull these off. These are hard to pull. Ah, ha, ha. Huh. Hmm. Mm. That's not a fun sensation. Mm -mm. <sighs> Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. And we're going to put some of that Aurora under my eye as well. Okay, that look is done. I wouldn't say that there is a huge difference between the eye where I had the base on and the eye where I didn't. It wasn't a black base, but it, it was just a light brown base. But I think I like it. I like, I feel like it is very wearable and beautiful and stunning. And I just, oh my gosh, this is my, can I say it's my favorite eyeshadow palette when I just now I'm using it? I don't know, but I love it. Okay, we have clean eyes, we have tape on. I wanna go into Galaxy. I feel like Martian and Galaxy are similar, but this one, it's just, it's this purpley blue that I just, I need to use it, I need to. And I think in the inner cor corner, we're gonna go with Solar Rain. Oh, maybe I should do it again, because I maybe, I wanna try Gaia, right here. Wait, no, here, oh my gosh. In person, it looks so green, and on the camera, it is like copper. I couldn't find it, I was like, green, nope. That's so crazy, so crazy. Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. This one is without the base. I haven't put on a base yet on the other one. It's so pretty. You can see the flip, I think. All right, and the next one, I am going to do a black base. Something I like about this palette is that the looks, unless you're going with the black base, which is apparently, as you can see, harder than it looks. I think this brush is a little thick. This is just the brush I usually use with transition shades. Um, but if you're not gonna go with a base, this has been very fast and very easy. A little less with the base. What? Fine, I'll get a different brush. Oh, well that works much better. Well, I just learned something. I never want to use black shadow with that brush. As long as you learn something, right? It's gonna be dark. Okay, let's go with that galaxy again. So pretty. I wonder if it's gonna make a big, a big difference because I feel like this is already a pretty deep shadow. Holy mackerel um this is deep all right let's get in some of that bright solar rain brighten it up i feel it like it definitely needed that pop of color Yeah, I definitely needed that. Wow. Now it's... Okay, I really like it now. I didn't really love it so far before. Yeah. 
Now it reminds me of like a shooting star. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm so excited about this palette. Holy cow. Ugh, that is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. Uh, let's go with Galaxy again on a liner brush. So that is that look, my third look. And okay, I'm doing one more. I'm just gonna do one more, one more. Are you ready for the last look? Because I have clean eyes, primer on and tape. All right, here we go. We are gonna go into Gaia and Soul. See what happens. We'll do a brown base again. I have to admit, I'm not the hugest fan of the black base. I feel like if I, I'm going to a really cool party, then maybe I'll do it. But other than that, for just like everyday wear or even like not everyday wear, I think I would be rather just putting them on my fingers or the brown base, which I'm used to, which is something I'm, is normal for me. And I'll just use like the black hole as a liner maybe. I'm glad I experimented though. I'm always really, I learn so much through these videos that I, I just hope I'm teaching, I, I'm getting some of that through and you guys get to learn a little bit too. Okay, Gaia. It has a really pretty gold, green, and blue. You can't see the blue at all on the camera, but it, there is some blue in there. I feel like this one is stunning for fall. And I've been trying to do more, like it actually matches with some of my fingers. This one's more um, coppery, but these are green. It matches like the iridescent green of my fingernails. All right, this one has no base. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done a back bit base versus a brown base. But since I found out through this that I'm most likely just going to be putting on without a base, it's fine. And definitely most likely without a black base. Okay. We are going to go into Soul. And that one is, I would say, they look very similar, but that one is just more of a normal gold. I don't feel like there's any flip in that one. Just a pretty shimmery gold shade. Oh, like these are coming off prettier in person than on the camera. Let's take off these. Oh, that barely was on. We're gonna put soul in the inner corner. And Gaia lining the edge. Oh, my bottom lashes are mad at me from the tape. I feel like, okay, I can give you how I feel about the tape right now. I feel like it is good. I feel like it is something that it actually takes a little bit of practice to use. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting practice. But also using it five times in a row, not awesome. <laughs> I'm going to put uh, another highlighter. We're going to go with Spring Equinox because it's more of a green shade, a green flip. And we're going to just do a light inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Wow. To top it off, I am going to wear one of these 
middle shades as a highlighter. Let's go with Golden Eclipse. It's just the most, you can't, they really look all the same on, on the camera, but it is the most just like neutral white. I really went light with that because I'm scared. <laughs> it is so bright. Wow, it actually isn't like you can build with it. I'm going light on the brush and then it's, it's just lightly building up. I'm very surprised about that. Okay, let's put on mascara for this last look. Okay, let's end with some final thoughts. So we did pretty much eight looks because I did the same look on each eye, but one had a, either a black base or a brown base and the other one had nothing. So technically eight looks, but really only four looks. Um, I think honestly, it was the first one that we used Martian that showed the biggest difference having that black base. The brown base, I don't feel like showed much of a difference. Um, I guess it would really determine maybe if it would wear longer by having that powder to stick to, or if it would wear longer having um, the primer more to stick to. So um, this is going to take further experimentation with me wearing the palette more and wearing it to work and seeing what happens. Ha <laughs> ha, I used 10 out of the 14 shadows. I personally liked look number two the best, the one that I had Aurora on. I thought that that one, I, it, it definitely suits me more. It has that um, purpley burgundy flip to it that I enjoy with my green eyes. Um, and then I would say my second favorite was Martian, the very first look. I liked that one because I thought that without the base, because I thought that it was um, wearable, pretty, kind of fun, but still wearable. Uh, let's see. Then this look is number three. And then I would say the one with galaxy was my least favorite just because I think I have to get used to wearing such dark shadows. I normally, um, wear colorful shadows, but not such like dark, deep shadows. So it's something that I have to get used to, but I still loved it. Okay. So that is what of the order that I like them in the tape. I want to talk about the tape. I, I already talked about it a little bit, but um, I just, I, I kind of want to give you guys my thoughts on it because I just bought bought it. And it's really nice. It, it sticks amazingly well. Like the medical tape I bought, um, it, it, they have kind of the same texture, but the medical tape wasn't as sticky. So this one sticked and like I felt like the metal tape, medical tape actually let shadow get in and this one didn't. It, it let left a straight line. So I really like it. I think it's really pretty, but it is something I have to get used to because normally I don't have such a harsh straight line. I have more of a blend. So I like the tape. It's something I really am glad I purchased, but I, I want to keep using it and experimenting with. I love this eyeshadow palette. It's my new favorite and I think I'm going to wear it every day for the next little while. <laughs> I'm glad that I got to experiment and play with things because I think that um, now I know. Now I know uh, that the black base just makes it more intense. It's a very, it was a very good experiment for me. So um, let me know what you think. Is this a palette that you picked up? I don't know if I would have picked it up if I didn't have that $100 Rouge reward, um, but I'm really obviously glad I did. It's, it's something that now I would save up my pennies and save up money for because I love it that much. So I'm so, it's, it's a palette that I spent $125 on this palette and $125 the Pat McGrath Hutopian Dream Palette. Um, both of them I had like kind of a discount on. The Pat McGrath one I had, like I got in a bundle and I got like 10% off. And this one I had the $100 Rouge Reward. So neither of them I pulled, paid full price. But what do I think was worth my money more? This one, this Danessa Myricks palette is worth like, I really, 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 really am thrilled about this. So this one is worth my dollar. Definitely more than the Utopian Dream. I, I, that one has more, I feel like they both have a learning curve because of the special shadows in the Pat McGrath. I'm still trying to figure those out. But this one, I feel like, um, I just learned. That was my learning curve and I'm good. I, I, I figured it out. <laughs> Whereas I'm, it's been months and I'm still trying to figure out how to use those special shadows and make them work well. So yeah, there we go. If you like, Ooh, if, if you want to ask for something for Christmas, like a big eyeshadow palette, 
my recommendation is that ooh, is this one i don't know it's not available still on sephora but i it might still be available on beautylish this is my recommendation <laughs> um if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you liked me consider subscribing to my channel it really helps me out a lot. If you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell and you will get a notification every time I post a video. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Okay, have a great day. Bye.